And like I said, green leafy vegetables is probably the best source of calcium. Would I recommend a supplement for calcium? You know, I think uh, as we've kind of talked about, uh, bioavailability um, is much better through through foods. Yeah. yeah. Much better. Let's see. It's just like a fruit if it's, and again, I've juiced before and will continue to do occasionally, but juicing takes out that fiber, takes out that, but that fruit is in perfect form and the body knows how to metabolize all of it correctly and it breaks it down so it's not so much hit on the liver. Same thing with yep. you know, natural sources as far as. And last but not least, uh, in terms of things to maybe think a little bit about, zinc. Ah. It's the Z, ah. <laughs> end of the alphabet. <laughs> and... Interestingly, as I'd mentioned about so much overlap before, what are our good sources of zinc? Whole grains, nuts and seeds, and legumes. This is not a problem. I'm seeing a pattern here. <laughs> There's a pattern. <laughs> yes. All right. So we're going to move from some of those health type issues to a little bit of a different uh, slant um, in our last few minutes. Um, how do I handle criticism from family and friends this about raising my child family this is a a vegan? One. Yeah. You know, and I would say, um, first of all, it, as we've talked about in previous podcasts, know your why, okay? And then you can really rest assured that the science, nutritional Actually, science, is behind eating plant-based. Man, I just want to send a mm. shout out and love to those vegan moms that are doing this because I have talked with some of them and they are facing some really hard stuff and it it's tough to... Stand in the gap like this. It's yep. really tough. This country is so bent on the standard American diet and needing meat and needing animal-based products that it, it just doesn't get. And not educated in plant-based nutrition. And not yeah, Exactly. Exactly. So, and to that end, you know, um, I would offer that uh, on a kind of a different topic, but kind of related, you know, one of the, my light bulb moments uh, in terms of an old man um, was recognizing, first of all, our only source of saturated fats is animal-based products in our diet. Um, I say only. Coconut has some, uh, but I'm not a big coconut fan. So... Uh, primarily, I say a primary source of saturated fat. I have a tiny, tiny bit, but it's not anything to worry about. Our, right. Yeah. Our, our, our bodies make some, mm -hmm. 